Welcome to this van tour of our 18th van conversion. This conversion is on a factory loaded 2024 all wheel drive Sprinter. We built this van for the same clients that purchased our second van conversion. They loved that van so much they wanted another, but with a few tweaks and upgrades. It's got ton of unique storage spaces, seating for five people, on demand hot water, and a fit and finish that's second to none. And at the end of this video, we'll share our favorite features of this van. So let's get into it. Welcome guys back to the van channel. We're doing another van tour. This is van number 18. We are super excited about this one because these are old clients of ours. They bought our second van and now they're building, they built this one. So they loved van number two, but we made some tweaks to it so it's even better. So I'm excited to show those tweaks to you. I want you to notice this beautiful color on this van. This has a ceramic coating all the way around. The ceramic coating is on the wheels, the mirrors, the windows, the roof rack, the running boards. Everything is ceramic coating. This makes it very easy for cleaning. Bugs just wash off of this um, very, very easy. Mud, dirt, anything that you have going on, it's gonna clean up really nicely. All right, so let's take a look. So our clients love to cook, so we installed this beautiful table for the outdoors, for their drinks, for anything that they want to set on it, and it just flips down right there. It's so convenient. Underneath this, we have the flip-flop, throw your shoes in so you don't get your van dirty. They opted to leave this space open so they can put umbrellas and longer things in this right here. Right here, we have the awning controls. This will put your lights on in your awning and also your awning will come out. And there's a lagoon mount for another table right here. Makes it easy for the passenger to play games with the person over here. It's a great little feature. So all of our vans come fully loaded. They have these nice LCD screens. We get five-year warranties on all of our vans. They come with these lovely swivel seats, which most of the time when you're just hanging out in the van, you have them turned this way and it's, it's super fun. The thing that I love about these clients is they have kind of traveled in this second van of ours for so long, they kind of know what they want, what they don't want. One of the things they wanted was more organizational space. So we gave them these beautiful um, cubbies down right here. You can put stuff on the sides, in the back. They said they carry a lot of water, so it goes in the back here and this one has a side cubby for purses, keys, things like that. So more storage. We always need more storage in bands, right? Speaking of storage, let's go up to our headliner. So it's a great place for your window covers um, that you're not using. We provide a full set throughout the whole van of window covers. We use Van Essentials. We love this company and we've been using them for years. So in this kitchen, it was specially requested that we do a three-in-one microwave, convection oven, and also an air fryer. They are from the South, so they love their, their fried foods. And air frying is all the rage right now. So this is what we put in. It's a, um, it is so cute. It's like an easy bake oven. Like you can cook a cake in here. Isn't that amazing? And then you can do all your air frying and other things that you might want to bake up. So speaking of cooking, we've got our true induction cooktop. We love these. Right over here, we've got our electrical outlet for your coffee maker, um, other appliances you may have in the van. So these clients chose to do a, a larger sink. Uh, we've got this nice Corian countertop. It's white. Um, it is beautiful. We love that the sink is big and deep, and this is our first undermount sink. We usually do overmount sinks. This is our first undermount sink, and I think it came out just really beautiful with this nice Aquastella faucet. Next, we have our isotherm refrigerator that we have in most of our vans. It's great for storage of food. Right here is just a drawer that is organized so you know where all of your remotes are for your fan, your air conditioner, your lights, and then you've got the three three um, bank, or sorry, there's four drawers going down the middle of your galley. In the um, last drawer, I believe it is, 
we always put in our Thrive Life food because it's freeze-dried, shelf-stable, and it will last you 25 years unsealed and open two years. So this is great for on the road. It's nutritious, it's healthy, and it's delicious. These, you just add water and you have a meal. I mean, that's pretty amazing. No chopping, no washing. People in van life love these meals. So check them out. We've got a link in the description below. Underneath here is underneath your sink. We always put a water, water filtration system in all of our vans. So on this van, which we did this in our second van, is we shortened up the galley and we shortened up the bed just a little bit to add this jump seat. Now this jump seat is pretty fun because it adds a next, an extra, it adds extra storage and it adds somewhere for somebody to sit while you're just hanging out in the back and, and after a long day of hiking. So we love that and it has storage underneath. So I'm gonna take these off and show you that you've got nice storage in the bottom there. So right here is one of my favorite features. It's a knickknack shelf. And this was done in our second van to have little knickknacks. Now she loves to collect rocks at the beach, shells at the beach, and she puts them in this little knickknack shelf. So we get requests all the time for people that want this knickknack shelf, but we can only do it if we shorten the bed, shorten the galley, and then that gives us 16 inches right here for a jump seat and the knickknack shelf. So our client, of course, needed extra storage, extra organization. She decided she was gonna have a bank of drawers right here in her bulkhead. And so we put these little finger poles right here because if you put a pole on this, it would, you'd be not, your knees would be knocking into it as you come out of the bed. So it's nice and flush. It does have the magnets, just like the drawers in the kitchen, um, so that they can have this is where all their clothing is gonna be stored, is in these drawers. So it's a perfect little place to have all your clothes. And then you can use your upper cabinets for other things. So we just really love this. And bonus on the floor, they, we did this in our second van and they said we absolutely love this. And it's just another place to store things right underneath there. And another little bonus about this little cubby is that you can step up, it's like a step to get into the bed and they love that. So here's the toilet. Our clients went with the Laveo dry flush, super easy. Um, and we also offer the Trolino toilet. So if you wanna see a comparison video on the two toilets, Jeff's got a video on that. So uh, we'll link that in the description below. Just go there and check it out. Next we have the, um, this is just a cubby to put bedding or whatever you'd like. It's nice and deep. Right here we have our Serbo GX. This is telling us how our, our electrical, our plumbing, and our solar is doing. Right here we have our control for our comfort system, and Jeff is going to get into that a little later on in the video. Another place that we add storage in the vans is right here on the slider. This allows you to put dog leashes, keys, whatever you'd like. These are also in the back of the van on the two um, windows back, uh, the doors back there, the two doors back there. And you know, at nighttime, you can put your jewelry in there, your phone, whatever, but they're great to have a little extra organization. So notice this beautiful ash ceiling all the way through the van. This is handcrafted by our guys and Jeff and just a beautiful, beautiful ceiling. It brings that nice woodsy feel into this van. Up top, we've got our Max Air Fan close to the kitchen. And in the back, I love the flush nomadic air conditioner. Of course, we've got our uppers right here that just lend to lots of storage. And of course, we have our trusty Utrusta hinges that we love so much from Ikea. So for this bed, it's nice and roomy. We've got our van speed capsules that lengthen this to 78 inches across. So right here in the capsules, we put your USB ports for a charging of phones. You also have a USB in the light, so double. And um, anyway, it just makes it super comfy. I have to mention the bedding. We always supply a beddy in every one of our vans. What I really love about the beddies is that you literally jump out of bed and then zip it up and it's all made. No mess. I love that. All right, so I'm going to hand it over to Jeff and he's going to talk about some of the more technical things of the van. So first of all, let's start with the electrical system. 
So this is a full Victron system with Battleborn batteries. But on this van, something new for us, we did a 24 volt system. Now, if you want to kind of know the differences between a 24 and a 12 volt system, we've done a video on that and we'll link in that down in the description. So this air conditioner Lisa mentioned is a Nomadic Cooling X2 24 volt air conditioner. So that's really cool. Something that's new in our vans when we've been using the Domatic and those are good, but uh, we think that the Nomadic are just a step above. And so that's what we're including now in all of our vans. This van has 540 amp hours at 12 volts, which is 270 amp hours at 24 volts. And so that's really a big battery. It's hard to fit much more than that in a 144. And so the battery power on this van is pretty much maxed out. We also have 400 watts of solar up on the roof which is again, a lot for a 144 when you have both an air conditioner and a fan. We also put two of the Victron Orion uh, DC to DC chargers in this van. And so they'll be able to charge their, their battery bank, their large battery bank with a large solar panel array, um, double Orion, so 60 amps there, and then also shore power. So three ways to charge basically means they're not gonna be worrying about running out of power. So on the exterior, we have the flatline uh, standard roof rack with the Girard electric awning mounted to that. We love that awning, it's awesome. You just push a button and it comes out. This fan also has the Owl Talon wheels and it has the flatline uh, side ladder on it. So we've got a 30 gallon water tank uh, mounted under the bed on the driver's side. And then we also have a 15 gallon gray tank mounted underneath the van. Um, another cool thing that's underneath this van that's something we've never done before, and that is an extended fuel tank. These clients love to travel, you know, long road trips and not have to worry about stopping to be able to get to their, their destination and not worry about their diesel burner to stop working because they're low on fuel. So this extended fuel tank uh, increases the fuel capacity from 26 gallons of diesel up to 45. So almost doubles it, which is awesome. Now, one thing that is really unique about this van for us, first time we've ever done it, is it has a hydronic heating system. So that hydronic system will heat the water on demand, it'll heat the air in the van, and this van has in-floor heating. So what's really cool about this system is it'll run off the diesel in the van. It hardly uses any diesel, so you can run it you know, all day long, all night, without worrying about using a lot of fuel. And the radiant heat is really good at keep maintaining a constant level of comfort uh, without drying the air out. So if you've had or familiar with the S-Bar or Wabasto heaters, those are air heaters, which just basically heat the air and blow it out. And you end up having it really hot near the heater and a lot colder in the back, especially most people will put their heater underneath the passenger seat. And when you're sleeping all the way back here, especially with these windows here, if it's cold, it can get pretty chilly back here, even if you have the S-Bar or Wabasto running. Now with the hydronic system, it's just radiating that heat. And you just set it at the temperature you want. For example, if you want your um, temperature in the van at 72 degrees, you'd set your floor at 72, the room heater at 72 degrees, and it would just maintain that temperature. We've got a couple of vents for that hydronic system, one under, underneath the tow kick and one right here by this, by this bench. So on the hot water side, it's really awesome because uh, all you gotta do is turn on the furnace. This is the control for the whole system and it makes it really simple. All you've got to do is if you want the heat, you just hit the button to turn on the heater, and then you can turn on your floor, you can turn on the air. The water heating is always gonna be on, so whenever this is running, it's gonna heat your water on demand. So you're gonna have hot water at your sink, faucet, and also at your outdoor shower, unlimited hot water, which is awesome. And this system is made by AquaHot, and we are AquaHot certified installers. So if you're interested in a system like this, let us know. Also, I've got a full comparison on the AquaHot hydronic system versus the air heater system. And if you wanna check out that, I'll put a link in the description below. So back here in the garage area, starting on the driver's side, we have our um, AquaWar fill and our AquaWar shower. Just have attachments, quick connect that you can attach to that to run, run the shower. We've got a sight tube for our water fill with a little push button light so you can see the level of the water as you're filling it. So over on this side, we've got a um, light for the garage area and then this is a heater for the batteries. 
Um, but you can see back here, there's actually a little box coming into the um, garage area, comes back just 13 inches. And that is for that bank of drawers that Lisa showed you. So we are able to make them really narrow. They're just 12 inch doors um, with a little bit on the back. So 13 inches is all they come into this area. Um, so they still have a good size garage and then they can also slide longer things down the two sides, which makes it really convenient. So they felt like they weren't giving up too much in the garage to add that bank of drawers, which will really gives them a lot of storage. And those drawers are like 12 inches deep by about 22 inches wide. So no, they're not very deep, but they're big wide drawers. So when we did this, we actually, we normally would put these on um, hinges and hydraulic struts so we could lift these up but we couldn't do that because of the, um, they would hit onto here. So we did all of these doors magnetized. And so they can just pop out and you can see we installed magnets all the way across the top and bottom and then metal strips here. So all you do to, is you can pop it out and then you can just put it back in and it goes, pops right back in. Same thing here. We add a little bit of storage down under, underneath here um, we've got the, you know, our, our shore power adapter. We've got our hoses and things like that stored under here. We've got L track across both sides on the bottom so they can secure things so they're not sliding around in the back. So they originally wanted the bulkhead to be open so they could put things through. Um, but then they decided they really wanted the extra storage that this bank of drawers would offer them. They wanted the option to be able to slide things through. So what we came up with is um, this back panel actually comes off. So this is magnetized. And we can actually take that off. You can see these big heavy duty magnets on the back. And then you could just pop the drawers out the front and have this open and be able to slide things all the way through. And a real bonus is this area underneath. Um, you could store things like laptops and things that are valuable and nobody's ever gonna know that, you, that that's even there. So all you have to do is just pop this off, pop it back on, and you got a secret hiding place. So on this side, we've got all of our aqua hot um, components right here, our water pump, access to everything. We're big on leaving access to everything. Um, you can also lift up the bed if you need to, to get access to things. And then we've got a little place here where we can access shutoff valves and things like that. So all of our construction for the mechanical boxes, the galley, the uppers are all out of extruded aluminum. We really prefer that method as we can build all of the structures and then we just put these panels on. Um, if you ever needed access, you could pop these panels off completely and take them off and have access at the whole thing. So that's a wrap on this van. Well, now we're gonna tell you our favorite thing about the van. And I chose the bank of drawers. I thought that was really cool and it adds so much storage. And I think if I had my own van, I would stick those in there for yeah. more storage. Yeah, and you know, I, I agree. I think that's really a cool feature because you never have enough storage in a van, especially in a 144. And um, you know, adding three big drawers is huge. Yeah, so that's your favorite too. No, no. I have another one. Okay, go ahead with your other one. I think my favorite is Nitronic system. Um, I, I have a love-hate relationship with air heaters. We've used the S-Bar for a long time and they work well. One of the negatives is how much they dry out the air. We live in Utah and this area is really dry. Super like in the dry. winter, the, the humidity is down below 25%. Mm -hmm. I have to carry chapstick with me everywhere I go because I always have chapped lips, we have dry skin. And so I love that it doesn't dry out the air, that it's a radiant heat, that it just kind of heats the air the van and everything in it so it's going to maintain its heat a lot better without a lot of hot air just blowing out right and then the in-floor radiant heat is just awesome very cool um you know it doesn't make the floor like toasty warm it just makes it whatever temperature you want the inside to be so if you want it to be 72 the floor is just going to be 72 but it's going to radiate up that heat up to the rest of the van and then the on-demand water um, that's cool. The on-demand hot water. Is, yeah, it's awesome because the number one consumer of your battery power in a van is your water heater. It takes a lot to heat up water. And the bigger your water heater, the longer it takes. Um, we typically see anywhere from um, 10 to 25 percent of your battery power being used to heat up your water one time. Having this on-demand water, hot water, 
is just awesome yeah. and it's endless. So if you want to take an outdoor shower for 10 minutes, yeah. you can do no that. Big deal. You don't have to do the military style shower. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. I think that's my favorite thing. So we really appreciate you watching this video and don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. We've got tons of videos on this channel about van products, van tours, van life. So if you want to see more videos like that, then you can check out the channel. Jeff and Lisa with Thrive Vans, thrive on. Bye. See ya. And in the back, we have our Domatic. Nomadic. Nomadic. So right here, we have our Subaru. Ju <laughs>